My take on Elemental Mistress Doriado. Doriado is a level 3, 1200 attack, 1400 defense, light attribute, ritual monster, whose attribute is also treated as wind, water, fire and earth simultaneously. These properties make her unique in gold format and we want to make the best use of her versatile areas of application. The first property that comes in handy is being a ritual monster, which makes her searchable via Manju of the 10,000 hands and Senju of the 1000 hands, as well as her ritual spell cards Doriado's Blessing being searchable via Sonic Bird. Due to her low attack, Doriado is also searchable via Sengen and can moreover be equipped with Heart of Clear Water, Heart of Clear Water, making her indestructible in battle and to card effects the target. Alternatively, we can boost her up to 2700 attack with Ritual Weapon. as she is a low-level ritual monster. Finally, her effect supports the element archetype. Each element monster has a unique set of four generic effects that become active as long as, as, there, as there is a monster with a corresponding attribute matching the effect on the field. When a fire monster is on the field, the element monster gains 500 attack. When an earth monster, an earth monster is on the field, monsters destroyed by battle with the element monster won't get the effects off. These two effects are shared by the element monster Element Saurus. When playing him alongside Doriado, he becomes a 2k effect negating beatstick. The next element monster I opted to play is Element Dragon. His set of effects consists of the 500 attack boost when a fire monster is on the field, as well as being able to attack twice when a wind monster is on the field, making him a mini play cluster soldier. The trap card Fu Rin Kazan, Fu Rin Kazan can only be activated when there are at least one monster each of wind, water, fire and earth attributes on the field, meaning it can be activated when controlling the Riado. It is a very versatile card that allows you to either Raigeki the opponent's monsters, Harpy's Feather Duster the opponent's spells and traps, Delinquent Duo the opponent's hand, or Pot of Creed your own hand. In this deck we run 12 light monsters and 4 dark attribute monsters, so the notion using BLS in the stack is not too far-fetched. The remainder of the deck is all about useful generic staple spells and traps cards that offer little to no innovative value, so I will go quickly over them. We have the Trinity, Pot of Greed, Graceful Charity, Delinquent Duo, Spell and Trap Removal with Mystical Space Typhoon and Heavy Storm, Snatch Steel and Premature Burial, and for the traps, Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, Ring of Destruction, and at last, Call of the Haunted. That's it of the, of, for the deck, and the decklist can be found as always in the video description. Thank you for your attention.